Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today I'm going to show you how to use some refillable cartridges for Canon Maxify printers. So we've got two different versions versions of cartridge here. We have the PGI 1500, which is the smaller one, and the PGI 2500, the larger one. So these are a little bit older, these ones, they're older generation. These are the newer ones for printers that are still currently sold. So on top of the cartridge, you can see we have the yellow pull tape. This is the breather hole. So when the cartridge is in the printer or first time use, you need to remove the yellow tape. Otherwise, no ink will be able to be delivered when you try to print. So that's your refill hole. So we're going to remove that. I'm not going to do them both, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's the breather hole and the refill hole is the coloured plug on the side here. So I'm going to remove the coloured plug and then we're just going to start to refill it. So these cartridges are auto reset chips so the way the cartridge works is the ink levels will be recorded on the screen and the ink levels will get start to go down. When the cartridge says it's low, that won't be when you remove it. You'll basically wait until the cartridge reports 100% empty. If you, uh, if you remove the cartridges on a low warning and fill them up and put them back in, what happens is the screen tends to still say low and the cartridge will be full of ink. Now the reason for that is that the cartridge wasn't ready to be refilled. The auto reset function will only happen when it reaches 0%. So number one rule with auto reset cartridges generally speaking or ARC chips is wait till it reports 100% empty and it's refusing to print remove refill and pop back in or reset depending on what the reset procedure is so as you can see with these it's quite straightforward to do it's not messy and you'll just repeat the process for the relevant cartridge or all of them if it's first time in store and that's it so it actually took quite a bit that one took about 60 mil Pop that to one side, pop your, your refill plug back in and that's it, you can pop that straight in your printer and start printing. Thanks for watching.